A group of visitors prepares to enter the world's safest nuclear plant. Sventendorf has never been in service, but it had already been completed when Austria voted against nuclear power in a referendum in 1978. Forgotten for over 30 years, the plant opened to the public last year, and guided tours now take visitors around every Friday. You get an idea of how a plant like this works. It's very interesting, of course, and to be able to experience this for real as well. It's interesting, because you get to see the areas that you don't normally see in plants that are operational. A guide takes visitors right into the core of the reactor, where nuclear fuel would have been kept, an area normally immersed in water and highly radioactive. Whether they were born before or after the referendum, many are curious to hear how a nuclear plant works. It's common here sehr, sehr unterschiedliche Menschen, die sich ein a lot of people from different walks of life come here to get some insight into this piece of Austrian history. That goes from contemporaries, who ask themselves how they voted at the time, to very young people. To visit Sventendorf is to enter a symbol of Austrian nuclear policy. Even as the government sought to impose nuclear power, the population mobilized to prevent the plant from becoming operational. It was einmal alt and young. There were young people and old, from all ideologies, all parties, from the conservatives, ultra-conservatives, to the communists, all there out of conviction. After a three-year battle by environmentalists, Austria finally voted against nuclear power by just 30,000 votes. Since then, the country has become staunchly anti-nuclear, and Sventendorf has found a new life as a training ground to German nuclear technicians, but also as a source of solar power, to the delight of the local population.